Hey, it's Monica the Hiking Chick, and today we're checking out my new tent, the Tarp Tent Dipole One Person Lithium. The dipole lithium is a non-freestanding trekking pole tent made out of DCF. Now I'm coming from a Nemo Hornet two-person, which is a double wall, semi-freestanding tent. And this will be my first time ever setting up a trekking pole tent. So it <laughs> could be comical. Uh, so let's see how I do. Let's get it set up. So for my first time ever setting up a non-freestanding trekking pole tent, um, I think it did pretty good. Looks a little saggy up through the top, so I gotta do a little troubleshooting on that. Watch another, watch the videos again. Um, but overall, it was quite easy. It took me just over five minutes to set up. And that's just the four stake pitch and two trekking poles, and then of course these um, end struts that um, come with the tent. So let's take a look at a couple of the features um, on the outside of the tent. Um, the main thing you'll see here is that each end has some struts, and those uh, break open and break down into two pieces and stay connected to the tent. So it's not like you're dealing with the large tent poles. And there's a venting system here at the end, which will be more apparent on the inside. So you've got these end struts. You've got some tensioners there for the bathtub floor. And it comes with four of these uh, large pin stakes. And you really just need four stakes and your two trucking poles to set up this tent. However, to get a little more stability, they come standard with these apex guy lines that you can pitch out here and then there is an additional cord with a hook that can tension back to that stake as well and give you a little bit more room in the vestibule. The tent is 36 inches wide at the ends, the bathtub, and then that is an hourglass shape and that narrows down to I think 28 in the center comes with a really nice waterproof zipper here and some peak vents here as well for additional ventilation. The ventilation on this tent was one of the main reasons why I chose this tent over some of the, the other options like the Z-Pax or the, uh, like the Durston. I'm on the inside now. I've got both doors open and I can see my pitch is really floppy so it definitely going to need to practice with this a little bit. Um, but just to note, there's um, some vents here in the bathtub floor. Um, that's to drain out condensation. And then inside, as I mentioned earlier, there's these cool little windows um, that you can open up. You don't see a window too often. And that just slides down. That's on a DCF ribbon. And then you can open up and see outside and get some additional ventilation. And one of the things I was worried about in these tents is the condensation. And so I really like that uh, this single person tent had two doors 
and these extra vents on the side um, and then up top to vent out some of that condensation. There's two pockets on the mesh at the door. The tent actually feels quite roomy inside for a one-person tent. I don't have a one-person tent to compare this to, but comparing it to the Nemo two-person, um, you know, I do feel like there's a little less width, um, but overall, I feel like I can sit up in here. Let me turn this around. I can sit up in here, um, and I've got, you know, I'm 5'6". I've got plenty of room up above and to the sides uh, to sit up and move around. All the seams in the um, lithium version of the tarp tents have um, come seam sealed and uh, seam taped. So, um, but I am going to be testing this out in the rain prior to using it on the PCT because I want to just make sure there's not any areas that are problematic. Both the outer door and the inner mesh door um, stay open with magnetic closures, which is kind of cool. And so you're not having to mess with those toggle things. Um, so that's kind of cool. I know that wasn't an in-depth uh, overview, but I basically just wanted to see if I could set the thing up. And so I'm pretty happy that I could. And I know I've got some work to do on getting a nice uh, top pitch on that. Uh, so that'll be something I practice. And I do want to test uh, the tent out on a rainy day and spend spend a night in it, uh, which I can do here in my backyard. So uh, I'll post more information about the tent when I do that. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.